In this video, I'm going to show you what it's like being on the carnivore diet for an entire year. This is my real experience, the good times and the bad times, the struggles, everything that I've been through in a year. I'm going to pick some highlights and share them in this video right now. And if y'all stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to give y'all some pointers on things that you can do, things that I've learned along the way to help me in the future on my carnivore and my overall health journey. So we're going to start at my very first video and I'm going to show y'all that little introduction. And guys, I was extremely nervous. That's the first time I ever filmed a video ever in my life for YouTube or anything like that. So let's watch it together. Hey guys, my name is Kip Moore. I'm starting my new channel, Carnivore Kip, Barbecue and Cast Iron. So anyway, let me tell y'all a little bit about me. I'm uh, 29 years old. I'm six foot four. Right now I'm 445 pounds. I started the carnivore diet in January, January 2nd, technically. And since then I'm down uh, 41 pounds. So as you can tell in that first video, I was uh, already down a good bit of weight and I was like a month or two into carnivore. And then uh, I fast forwarded it to about four months in. Let's check out that video and see my new results. So I've actually been on the carnivore diet for five months. This has been a wild ride. I have loved it. I have loved it. I have loved it. I also start physical therapy Friday for my, it's called spina bifida occulta. So it's like a mild form of spina bifida. And that's the reason that I've told y'all in multiple videos that I was having trouble walking because <clears throat> pain in my lower back. And that's what the thing is. It, I got x-rays done and they found it and Hopefully the exercise or whatever they do in physical therapy will help because I don't, the last thing I want to do is have to get put on some type of injections or have to have uh, some type of surgery. I mean, if I had to go that route, I will, but hopefully we can um, manage this with physical therapy as well as me getting the rest of this weight off. Looking back at these video clips, it really touches my heart to be down 80 pounds at that point. I remember how it felt. It felt incredible. But in this next clip, I'm going to talk to y'all about the uh, different struggles that I faced with walking. Because when I first started my carnivore journey, guys, I couldn't even take a walk. I couldn't even hardly go on a walk. Uh, I couldn't walk to my mailbox hardly because my lower back would hurt me so bad. Check out what happens next. I was right at 500 pounds, okay? Right now it's 93 degrees outside and I'm out here taking y'all on a, a little jog with me. You know, I'm not challenging myself too hard like I did the other day, but I am jogging a little bit. There goes the light pole. I've been, I started out I could do one light pole then I worked myself up and I was like, man, I could do two light poles. Now I can do three. It's crazy. But my life before, yes, my family loved me. I had that support, but man, at almost 500 pounds, I couldn't do hardly anything. I was stuck on the couch, guys. <clears throat> I was stuck on the couch. I couldn't, couldn't hardly do anything. And right now I'm just out here finding out what living's all about. I've been on this carnivore journey for eight months now and let me share these results with y'all. I wasn't gonna weigh today 
but since today actually marked my eight month mark, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna step on the scale regardless of what it looks like. And boy, am I glad that I did because today I'm officially down 100 pounds on this carnivore journey. Just saying that out loud blows my mind. It hasn't even had time to sink in yet that I've lost 100 pounds. There are some full grown adults that weigh 100 pounds. So it's amazing to me that I've been able to lose a person. In January, when I started <clears throat> eight months ago, I weighed 486 pounds. And at my highest weight, I was actually 498 pounds, which was right at 500 pounds. So I weighed 486 pounds in January. Today, I weigh 386 pounds. Losing up 100 pounds is like so surreal. And uh, it makes me think about the future because the road I was headed down, I've been obese my entire life, okay? I tell y'all, I've said it many times, I was over 100 pounds in kindergarten. And I mean this, I was over 300 pounds in the seventh grade, okay? And by the time I made it to college, I didn't even go to high school, but eventually I got my GED. Uh, so by the time I did go to college, I weighed and I was like 420 something pounds in college. And once I got married, I just gained more weight and I was right at 500 pounds and I was headed in a terrible direction. And my daughter was born and um, I wasn't able to be, a, be the father that I know that she deserves because I couldn't even hardly pick her up in her crib. I couldn't hardly, um, <clears throat> whenever I would be rocking her to sleep at night in her little lounge chair, I couldn't even hardly pick her up and get up with her because I weighed so much and it was felt like I was about to break my back every time. And uh, so I knew I had to do something different. I still get super pumped whenever I see me run like that uh, because I know what the future holds. I know that if God keeps me here on this earth and allows me to stay, I know that I'm gonna be healthy and I know that I'm gonna do amazing things I'm going to run a 5K in 2024, and I know it sounds crazy to so many people. Y'all know that I have this challenge. So far, I've had 180-something people tell me that they're doing the challenge with me. For nine, or for 90 days, we're doing B, 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 and E, and it's going to be awesome, guys. So after having all that success in the first eight months, and after so many amazing things happening, here's what happened next. Honestly, guys, I feel like a complete and total failure right now. I know those are very harsh words to say about myself. And um, maybe I shouldn't say that because I've had so much success on my carnivore journey this year. I lost 104 pounds at my highest because um, I started at right at 500 pounds. I made it down to 382 pounds. I have fallen off the wagon bad, okay? Um, it started around Thanksgiving time. And around Thanksgiving, I started slipping up because there was so much food options at work, so many different things that I could have. And guys, um, I've been struggling just to even get back on. I've been struggling to get back on track. I've still been doing walking videos some, and um, I've been trying, but I've been slip I've been slipping up multiple times, and it's very hard to make a video like this. I do believe that you can get to doing so well sometimes that you can lose track of the things that would slip you up. Uh, I got so comfortable. Uh, I was doing extremely, extremely well on my carnivore journey and I had reached a point where I was down 104 pounds. I was down 104 pounds. I was down to 382 pounds and guys, it went south. Okay. 
and I'm an honest person. I, I, I share the truth on YouTube. I share how it really went down. When I mess up, I let y'all know. When I don't, when I'm doing good, I let y'all know that. That's the reason, that's the purpose of this channel is to share my real story. So uh, things started going south. And um, as we were getting closer to the holidays, people started wanting to be really festive. People started wanting to uh, go out to eat more. And I started catching myself eyeing different things in the grocery store. And this is a lesson that I want y'all to know. Um, be mindful whenever you're, uh, don't get so comfortable in your journey that you think that you can't slip up because all it takes is allowing one little thing back in. One little thing can lead to another thing and another thing. So for example, I was drinking plain uncarbonated water in a soda stream bottle. I was just carbonating it, but I got to the point where I was like, eh, I'll just have like, uh, the kind that has uh, a little bit of lime, uh, lime or lemon or something like that in it. Just those little things, those little small changes led to more changes. And one thing, here's a, here's a tip. I don't know about you and I'm not sure how it affects you. So I'm just speaking for myself. But whenever I have cheese, it, it like induces tons and tons of cravings in me and it makes me crave other things and it makes me crave tons and tons of more cheese and so and all the things that i used to love cheese with like mac and cheese that was my favorite thing before i started my carnivore journey and having that cheese man it just made me want all those things so cheese heavy cream Things like that, which I don't like sour cream, but things like that, that's going to have to be out of the equation for me because as I look back at my accomplishments in 2023, I realize that I left a lot on the table. There's so much more that I could have done. I could have done a lot better than I did do. And uh, I'm not going to beat myself up over it, but 2024 is a fresh start. And if you want to join me on the BBB and E challenge for 2024, I would greatly appreciate it. We have like 187 or 188 people that have agreed to do this challenge for 90 days. And it's going to be incredible. I cannot wait to see the results uh, of being strict for 90 days. And I'm going to do weekly weigh-ins. I want to weigh in every week and make a video about it and let y'all know how I'm doing because I know that uh, a lot of people like to see what happens on the scale. I've been scared to step step on the scale, but right at the, right at the end of the year in like a day I'm, or two days, I'm going to step on the scale and we're going to go from there, ground zero, and uh, it won't be pretty on the scale, I'm sure, because I can feel, I feel heavier. Like if you look back at earlier in this video, whenever I was at the eight month mark, I looked thinner in the face. I definitely, I felt thinner. I felt healthier. I felt vibrant. I just felt like, I felt like something was rising up in me and I'm going to get back to that this year and I'm going to run that 5k. There's so many things that I'm going to do guys. I hope y'all stay tuned for it. And before I forget really briefly, I want to thank Miss Patty Hardebeck. She sent me this camera strap that I can hook to my camera and go outside and video and take um, pictures and things like that. Thank you for sending that to my Amazon wish list. I love you and I appreciate you doing that for me. And also, I have been trying to raise up enough money to go towards a bike. I've had a couple people say, why do you even put that on there? Why do you even put that on there? Because I have like an indoor stationary bike, but that's not the same as getting out and enjoying the fresh air and things like that. And there's people that have made negative comments about it, but in all reality, it's not a requirement, but if anyone would like to help me to be able to get that bike, I have $25 and I have $50 Amazon gift cards on my Amazon wish list. It's not a requirement at all, but if anyone would like to help me with that, thank you guys so very much because I want to move more in 2024. I want to 
Continue the walking. I want to uh, build back up to running because right now I'm over 400 pounds again. And that's not a great way to end the year, but I want to protect my joints. And I know that riding a bike and things like that will help. And, you know, so definitely I appreciate y'all if anybody wants to do that. And if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to check me out on Instagram, carnivore underscore kip, and you can check me out on Facebook, carnivore kip. Love you guys. I'll see y'all in 2024. Uh, happy holidays to everybody. I love you guys. God bless.